I like the color. You like the color? Yeah. Yeah, I had uh, mixed reviews on the color. Some people said they like it, some people said they don't like it, and I said, well, what color is your baguette? <laughs> Amanda's been completely blown up on the internet as of recent and has gained worldwide attention with the most searches on the world's most popular search engine Google. Andrew Tate is a name that many are fond of for a variety of reasons. Although Andrew Tate is now very popular and well known to many, his story of what he's known for, having a hard work ethic, a G mindset and working smart began long before this many years ago. In this video we'll be going over 10 facts that you probably didn't know about Andrew Tate and also a few things that you can potentially potentially learn from his journey. Now let's get straight into it. Number one, he got bullied when he was young. This may sound like a surprising one since many see Andrew Tate as a confident and strong individual and also with him being a successful person in the field of kickboxing which also requires one to be tough mentally and physically. One may be surprised to find this fact out but it is true as he has confirmed it himself. Andrew was living and attending school in America after moving there from the UK and has described growing up there as very difficult since he was a kid that used to stand out with his different appearance and accent and used to get made fun of because of these reasons. He mentions an incident on the school bus journey he used to take every day where the kid sitting behind him would pick on him and harass him every day. He then went and spoke to his father one day about this incident which then led to him taking action and defending and standing up for himself which is exactly what happened the next time the kid tried to bully him again. From there onwards he explains that he learned the value and importance of standing up for yourself and knowing that people will only treat you how you let them treat you and he developed a strong mindset from having this experience and explains how he never got bullied again thereafter. Number two, he's half black. Although most may not be completely aware of this upon the first glance of seeing both Andrew or his brother Tristan, they both have an African American father who was an international chess master. Andrew himself began competing in chess tournaments from a very young age of five with the influence of his late father. Now that Andrew is a lot older, he describes that learning the game and art of chess has taught him many different life lessons and he also mentions that although his father has now passed away, he was a great influence in his life and taught him many lessons on how to work hard, be courageous and strive to achieve success as he was growing up in the presence of his father. Tate mentions that although his father wasn't around all the time since he was always competing in chess tournaments in different countries around the world, the time he had around him was always spent teaching him valuable lessons. Number 3. Although originally born and from the States, Andrew moved to the UK at a young age when his mother and father spirit. He lived in a council estate with his mother and attended school in the UK. Fun fact, although he was smart at school and college, he ended up deciding not to go to university due to having to write a personal statement for the university although he was already accepted. Andrew describes Luton as a rough area with high poverty and crime rates and says although he didn't have an easy life and upbringing, growing up in these difficult circumstances encouraged his personal development and made him the person that he is today. He describes his old lifestyle as him going to work every single day and then running to the boxing gym after work as he didn't have a form of transport and he trained under his boxing coach for years and describes him being very obedient towards his coach even under the stress and pressure of harsh daily training. He done this for years on end to eventually then go and become a kickboxing champion. This shows that a lot of the time the journey to success is filled with trials and tribulations along with hardship and the success comes from the lessons learned from these periods. Number 4. Attention can be monetized. If there's anything we can learn from Andrew Tate it's that in 2022 attention is one of the most valuable currencies around and it can be monetized in more ways than ever before. It's also something that anyone who's willing to put in time and effort with whilst being consistent can attain. Through his popularity on social media platforms such as Instagram, YouTube, TikTok and Twitter with everyone reposting and sharing his viral content with high engagement and retention rates and his appearances on multiple big platforms through his network connections he was able to convert all of these views into monthly subscriptions for his online learning platform Hustlers University. A lesson to be learned from this is that if you can gain attention from whatever valuable skills and services you have to offer to people, you can definitely monetize that attention and make money from it. Last but not least, number five, he makes an estimated five million dollars from HU and was around way before his rise to popularity. Although he only blew up recently, Tate already had a high net worth and was consistently posting on his social media platforms long before this period for plenty of years and he described his YouTube channel as one of the most overfunded and under earning channels on the platform. He only started gaining a higher income
income and monetization from his work as of recent and use the opportunities in the best ways possible. He currently does have 100,000 students at Hustlers University which is a platform that teaches 18 modern wealth creation methods and is estimated to be earning around $5 million on a monthly basis. The lesson that can be learned here is that a lot of people do think that successful individuals sometimes end up gaining their success overnight but this really isn't the case and those individuals might have actually worked for long periods of time consistently without reaping the rewards before this ends up happening and therefore success should be looked at as a marathon and not a sprint and that's it for this time guys if you did enjoy it and want a part two please leave a comment down below until next time peace